So right up top there where those rocks are sticking up, that's where I spent the night last night. It's beautiful. Oh darn it, I was just talking to some people I passed along the way and they told me that there was a mountain lion cub at 57. Guess where I camped? 57. Oh, it did look like with all those rocks, it looked like it would be a good place to uh, have a mountain lion encounter. But I'm sure I'll have plenty of plenty of time to do that later. to add that weight. We'll see. Okay, so now I'm putting two and two together. Outside my tent this morning, there was a wet spot. And I thought, what is that? You know, I said, did I get up and go to the bathroom in the middle of the night? No, I, absolutely not. But now it makes sense. Maybe the cub went potty by my tent. How cute. <laughs> he was marking his territory. But, you know, after I had set up that tent, I thought, God, this almost looks like a walkway for wildlife. Maybe I put my tent in their way, but they didn't bother me. Of course, the wind was whipping that tent so crazy all night that any mountain lion probably wouldn't near, dare go near it. They probably sat and watched it for a while trying to figure out what the heck that thing was, making all that racket and flapping all around while I slept very nicely inside without earplugs, mind you. Anyway on another beautiful walk today my foot's getting better and uh julian is still quite a ways away i just need to figure this all out but i also need to get started earlier in the day i'll i'll get there i'll get there but look Looking back over where I've been, and I can see that sawtooth range in the way at the back there. That's where I was just a few days ago. Now I'm getting ready to head towards that way. <laughs> All right, a little bit of trail magic going on here. Somebody left some water. Thank you, Trail Angels. Whoa. <laughs> I'm walking a trail filled with rocks and stone, and it keeps my mind a wandering where it will go. Bum, 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 bum. And I think I'm liking all of this the rocks and trees but not enough animals yet, but I don't like to freeze, so I keep going. <laughs> up and down, up and down, my foot is killing me. My butt. So much of the trail is rocks, 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 or partial rocks, but they're still pretty. I'm so happy that I have everybody to share this journey with. It is so beautiful. It's just so cool. And because I really miss, you know, Helen, I used to just love to go walking out in the desert and in the mountains, wherever. It's just something that, especially when we first were together and got married, we would always go out and just walk and hike. And I miss that I can't share this with him. But as those of us who have gone through the loss of a spouse, we know, we hope that they are still with us somehow. It's not the best, it's not the same, but it's something. And it's just so beautiful. And uh, again, whoops. Uh, I'm just so thankful that I have all of you to share it with and uh, all of those who are going through this. Um, the loss of a spouse and different things, you know, as the trail goes on. 
I'll be talking about all different things and that's what this is all about I wanted to share and and uh, we're not the only ones going through this and uh, just if we help each other that's uh oh my goodness I'm so sorry oh, but look how beautiful the trail is and the clouds That is the trail going along up over that hill. Because of the wind, I haven't been able to shake my tent out for a couple days. Look at the dirt, it is on everything. And my feet are growing so quickly, I've had to cut off just about every strap on these sandals, except for the ones that'll hold it on my feet. <laughs> uh, using seat cushion and duct tape to see if I can hobble this foot into Julian today. Oh, this is so beautiful. The first patch of California poppies. Just a small golden hillside. Okay, this is an exciting moment. There is some trail magic over here. And it is water. Or I don't know if it's trail magic. Is it trail magic? Might just be a sprig, a spring. Whatever. It's water. Well, thank you, Trail Angel at Rodriguez Road. Save my bacon. I had a liter, I think. Uh, was gonna make that last for eight miles unless there was other rivers but thank you so much now i can travel on in peace and look at that in the distance there is uh there's big orange sections on the mountains and i bet that's poppy From the PCT, happy birthday to you! Starting tomorrow, I am going to start wearing my buff around my forehead so that my hair is not constantly in my face. But isn't this beautiful? Look at this. Okay, I just checked another four and a half miles to Scissors Crossing, where I'm gonna catch a hitch into Julian to hopefully catch a room, a shower, laundry, apple pie, and more pie, and a steak dinner, maybe. We will find out, but I need to start hoofing it. My foot is doing pretty good. 
my little splint thing that I made for it seems to be holding up. So I'll get some more supplies when I get into town and uh, stay the night and we'll see how I feel tomorrow. And uh, either take a zero, let my foot heal some more, or wrap it up and hit the road. I've learned another lesson on uh, when you're packing resupply boxes, make sure that you mix it up with things that need water and things that don't need water. Because pretty much everything I have right now and had is everything that you need water. And so if you're traveling in an area that water is kind of precious and you don't want to carry 60 gallons, <laughs> then you want to mix it up. So that's just a word to the wise of those who might be thinking about hiking the PCT and scheduling the resupply boxes. Mix it up. Look how beautiful. I will not lie. I am in so much pain. I have been fighting through the pain today. Uh, now my shoulder hurts. My foot's doing better though. But uh, I've got to make it to get to town tonight. It's going to be another hour or so, but uh, I'm pretty sure I can make it. But man, fighting through all the pain and the agony and the, you know, it's not all the flowers and stuff, but uh, it's beautiful and it is flowers and butterflies. I'll talk about butterflies later, but uh, man, I can just feel that shower and taste that town food. And on I go. Look at that giant boulder down there. It's like massive. Uh, hopefully this is gonna be my last climb for today. Go over the other side and go down into scissors and go to Julian, get some pie. down from those mountains and walking across this valley and I'm telling you what it is so windy you have to have your poles to your right so it doesn't pull you down. There it is. Right there, scissors crossing. Woo! I'm frozen. Okay, so I'm snug as a bug in the rug in my tent at Scissors Crossing. Uh, made it here just a little after dark and got my tent set up in the riverbed, so hopefully no water. <laughs> but I had to dig holes, and then there was another fellow who helped me find some big old rocks to put on the corners so that my tent doesn't fly away tonight. The wind today was crazy. Um, my foot, we'll see how it is tomorrow. I, uh, the splint seemed to work well. I got 11 miles in today, and uh, but I'm afraid that tomorrow is going to be very painful. I've got a uh, hotel tomorrow night in Julian, and so I'll be able to get my uh, videos started on YouTube. So I am beat, tired, and um, I will see you tomorrow. Good night.